idea, all right? We're going to do something a little bit more fun. Now, before I get into anything deep, let's kind of change something here. I want to just show you a couple of things. What I want to show you is overflow, and I want to show you resize. Let's put in a, uh, yeah, I mean, um, let me see. Let's put in, in this div, let's just put a bunch of paragraph blah. We're just going to make this really, really really, really long like that. We're just going to put in a bunch of lines. All right, like this. And then beneath, I wanna just show you, let's get rid of this. And I wanna put in a text area. And we'll just do that, okay? Now you see this and you see the text area. And as I've mentioned before, with the text area you can kind of resize and stuff like that. At this point, this is lengthy, but what, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, what do we call this? Div stuff, right? We're gonna say div stuff, we're gonna say a height of, let's say 20 pixels, right? Now, if I were to do that, you see the words are all scrunched up and everything. Let's make it, let's put a padding of five, because I want you to see What's going on here? Okay, having a five, like this. Like I said, it, it's all scrunched up, you can't see anything. What you can do then is you can go overflow, and then at this point you can have hidden, which is, I think that's the default, right? which means now everything that overflows is now hidden. You can also have, what I usually do is auto, which means if you are, if you have it elongated, you can then get a scroll down like this. If it's not wide enough, you can have a side scroll. If we were to say uh, width of uh, 50 pixels, you'd get an automatic side scroll. I mean, you can't see anything, but you know, you get the point. And there are others, let's see, overflow. Visible means it's always visible. Or, or the, the font is always visible. I think that's the default, right? That's the default. And then you could go scroll, which is no matter what you do, there will always be a scroll, see? Like I said, I typically go with auto. Now let's just get that out of here. Let's get this out of here. But now with the text area, if you have a site, you don't want this to be going like, you know, you don't want people messing around with this shit. Now, it doesn't make any difference in what input you put in, but you don't want people to kind of jerk around with your stuff. So we're going to go text area, and we're going to give it a resize. Now, resize has horizontal, non vertical, inherent initial, all this stuff. So if you go resize horizontal, you would only be able to move it this way. You could move it up or down. If you go vertical, you'd only be able to do this. And it has to be in that area right there. You see this area here? Those, little, those two lines? But if you say resize none, then they can't touch it. They can't do anything with it. There's no resize option. So again, that's what I go with. I go with resize none. But you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. Now, one thing that we can also do, and I was mentioning this before, is we can do transitions and we can do transformations transitions you can have fade in you can have fade out 
you can have things turn upside down, you can have all sorts of stuff. So like with, with div stuff, we can do a transition and we could say, we have to give it an, an interval point in three, two seconds, ease in. Now, I don't know if it's gonna actually do anything, but like if I were to make it a little bit longer, No, it's not, it's still not, we're not really telling it to do anything. It's just there, but you can do uh, all sorts of transitions. Now, if you look at, again, here we go. If you look at transitions, you see with and whatever, like if you were to do, let's see. If you were to do, let me do a uh, hover. And let's say transition two seconds ease. Or was it ease two seconds? I forgot if it was the interval first. No. Was it the, I always forget, is it the, I don't think it's the interval first. But if we were to do like this with height, How did I usually do that? And I would just say, I forgot how I used to do trans. I used to do transitions all the time. Now it will transition, it'll change when we hover over it. Now it looks like crap because you know we're not really doing anything. But I forgot how. I, now I used to always do transitions, but it was more like it was more on hovers. But if I were to do, um, no, what was it? Oh, I can't even remember anymore. I'd have to look it up. But if I were to do if I were to do something like that, it would it would I don't think it would change anything. No, I mean it, it kind of changes. It takes two seconds to ease in, you know. But yeah, you know, just simple little transitions and stuff like that you can do. You know, you have other ones that you can look at if you wanted. But what a good what you can do with that is you can have some kind of like fade in effect on say something like this. I used to do it all the time, and like I said, I keep forgetting how I did it, but, well, I guess I did it there, but it would be, it's it's like, oh, when you hover on, that's what it is, when you hover on, on these. So I'll show you a little trick. So if you say U-L-L-I-A, right? If you were to say U-L-L-I anchor tag hover, and you would say color, you got to tell what you want it to hover to. You'd say color, uh, go black, and we'll say transition. And now this, so ease in. When I hover over, you can see it kind of ease into that. Here, I'll show you. If I go, if I go one second, you'll see a little faster. See, now it's black. That was always an effect that I did on hoverovers and anchor tags and stuff like that. By the way, I never showed you this. If you, you know how when you see, um, when you see these links up on the top and the header and stuff like that, if you want to get rid of these, these underlines, there are ways you can do, there are other little text tricks you can do with anchor tags. You can do, you can go text decoration. And you could say, underline which is the the default you can say none which you'll typically see like that you'll usually see those in professional websites and everything like that and, and content management systems 
You can say strike through, I think. Is it strike through? No. Uh, line through? Um, text decoration. There are a few other ones. What was it? It's not helping me out here, let me see. Mm. That's not, that's not gonna be it. Where, let me just, yeah, it's just gonna be underlined. What was it again? Overline line through, that's what it was. Okay. Line through. You can do that. And then you see it's like it's it's within it. I mean that would be if you're like omitting something in a in a paragraph or whatever. But I for, almost forgot to tell you about uh, text decorations. So there there are your text decorations that you can look into. Typically, like as I said before, you would have none. Another thing I wanted to show you. You see how when we do this, when we hover over, it gives you that finger. You can change that. It's called. A cursor. You can do pointer. You can do, let me just see, CSS cursor. Weight, help, like, okay, so weight would be a, a, magnif a, not a magnifying glass, a, an hourglass, I think. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Reload. No. No, it's not my computer. There we go. Oh, that's it. It's like that. That's that's the way. I mean, it used to be an hourglass. Now it's the circle thing. You can do um, help. I, I think that's the question mark. Yeah, question mark. You can do zoom in. How about that? See, there's all these, th all these things that I know of, but I don't know all the ins and outs about them. So you like them. That's the magnifying glass. Zoom in, grab. But you could do all these different things. I think that would be a hand grabbing it, right? Yeah, that's that. Or you could just do disable. And if it's disabled, then I mean, like, it's going to do that for anger tags anyway. But typically, we would do pointer. A little tricks there. So, like I said, we have transitions and everything. Now, that wasn't that long a video, so yeah, not really all that long. Let's do transformations because in the next one, there are a couple of things I want to touch up on again. And Transformations, as you can see, they're really not that big a deal. They're not all that difficult. You can just do a transform. And we can rotate X 90 degrees. Is it one word or? Rotate X means that you would flip it on, you would flip it horizontally. Where'd you go? It's probably over there. If we go, rotate Y, it would be vertically. See, like, see, it's upside down. And if we were to say rotate Z, it would be like, like this. Like that. I mean, there are other transformations we can, we can check out, like this. Yeah. 
you know, like you have Matrix, 3D Transformation, you can do um, Translate, we'll, we'll try Translate. Translate's different from Transform. We'll do um, 3D, let's, let's try that out. That doesn't even, would it be like this? This doesn't look like it's gonna work. No, it didn't do it. Well, it is, no, it's not backwards. And then you have um, rotate 3D. Let me see if we can actually see what they look like. Transform style, like this is stuff I don't do. So I, I don't, I don't know why I would introduce it to you, but because it, it like it doesn't, unless you're making a PowerPoint presentation with, with um, CSS, it just doesn't make sense to me. Let's see what that says. Let's see what that does. All right. I mean, that's it's something. I, I don't. Yeah, it's not really a, a big deal. Now there are animations. You could do animations, and animations are a little bit different. Different. You would have to actually. You would have to tell it what the animation is, or you'd have to reference it in something called animation. And then you would reference like fade in like that. And then you would have to below. Let me just make sure I have this right. Let me go to animations. There we are. And you'd have to give it like an interval. Like so you'd say fade in. And you'd say two seconds. And then you would you would go down and you would throw in keyframes, but you have to do it below, because again it's cascading. So you'd go keyframes, and it's kind of like calling a function, and then you would say like, um, how did I usually do it? Opacity. No, you would have to say. I usually don't do from, but we'll 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 play their game for now. Actually, it would be. Let me see if this would work. See, and that, that's how that works. You know, you, you just got to give it like a starting point and an ending point. That's animations, you know, if you were interested in doing something. There are some times when you want to do stuff like that. But again, what you would do is it's a good way to practice because you would, and then we could put infinite. This is, this is the equivalent of calling a function in actual programming and then referencing that function later. So if you, if you had an animation that you wanted to do, you would call it, you'd give it a name, you'd say how long you'd want, whatever. And then you, you would give it an animation. 
And it's going to keep doing it because I said infinite. If you get rid of that, I'll just do it once. He just does it once. So that's a little, just some fun stuff we can do. I think what we want to do next, we're going to kind of try to finish this up. There are things that I've been showing you that we're not going to use. I want to just kind of touch up on buttons and I want to touch up on, um, variables. Okay. Now, in case you're wondering, we're not doing SAS, we're not doing SCSS. SAS and SCSS are means to shorthand extensive CSS pages. We're not going to use those. We, we type things up on our own. I don't use any real frameworks other than web development frameworks, programming frameworks. So we're not going to be doing any of that. There are other people that have done SAS and CSS and SCSS. If you were thinking about doing that, you're not watching the right tutorial because I'm not going to be doing any of that stuff or J jQuery or any of that crap. We're doing vanilla stuff. So that is that. We're going to come back with variables and I'm going to show you some things you can do with buttons. I'll be back in a sec.